Hello everyone, and welcome to Hannah's Crafting Corner. Today's video, we're going to be talking again about the zipper pouch. I know last week was kind of rushed, kind of not great. <laughs> it's going to kind of be the same way this week, but I did want to show you guys that I finished my zipper pouch that I was working on last time, and I want to kind of discuss like the good and the bad of what I have learned and such as that. So whenever I finished this one, um, I took it to my professor to be graded, and she had some things to say. <laughs> um, let me get both of these opened, and I will be right back. Okay, so the main things that she had to say were about the inside of the bag. Um, and so I've tried to correct all of the things and tried to show what I've learned. So on this one, number one was this. The, the zipper part was not put in between the lining and the outside layer. Um, the next thing was that I did not iron my seams down here to get them nice and flat and on the edge to where this kind of looked eh, not great. Also, with this bag, it ripped out on the sides, both of them. And I don't know exactly why, if it was the fabric that I used, if I cut it the wrong way, I'm not sure. But I have repatched it and to the best of my ability and tried to just make it functional as it's already been graded. So I tried to do that. So that was number one. That was the kind of the things that I messed up on. And now let's talk about this next one. So I am very excited about this one. I am curious to see how I will be graded on it. Um, number one, I used a different fabric on the inside. This was microfiber. Um, and this is cotton, 100% cotton, and I did, in fact, get my, my zipper on the inside of my bag this time. I also completed a top stitch, which was another thing that she had to say about um, my first pouch. Um, and, let's see, I still didn't have an, I don't have an iron due to my location, um, but I did try to secure my seams better on this one so that I would decrease the risk of them ripping out. <laughs> and I also feel like I did pretty well for not having an iron. I mean, it doesn't look like factory made, but it does still, like, it looks a lot better <laughs> than my first attempt. So, um, that is how they turned out. I'm super, super thrilled with how this little one turned out. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as like the outside of the bag, um, <clears throat> both of them, I, she didn't really have much to say about the outside. Um, the outside's pretty simple to do. It is able, you're able to hide a lot of your mistakes fairly easily. And so, yeah, I mean, like, my edges are even and stuff, so my bag, whenever it's, like, stuffed, it sits up nicely. Um, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, I didn't do, like, a flap on my zipper. I did hidden zipper ends on both of my pouches. And I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I do think I did it clean enough where it doesn't look bad. Um, and on this one, like, I mean, I did the same same type of thing. Look for the little H on the bottom. That's what it looks like to me. Which my name is Hannah, so I guess I look for, for H's and stuff. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. It also sits up by itself a lot better than this one, which does not have the cotton. This one's also bigger, so that's probably why. But uh, that's probably going to be the video for this week. I will relink the the pages that I used to create this bag and also maybe another couple videos that really helped me um, to figure out what I needed to do and um, I will see you guys next week bye